Hello everybody, this is Vincent Ng of MCNG Marketing. Thank you for joining me in this video. And today I just actually want to explain some vocabulary because a lot of times I will actually go to a presentation and it's really fascinating because people really know what Pinterest is about. They know they need to use it for their business. They're excited. So they come on to the, the workshop or they come into the, the, the presentation and then they actually don't know what a pin is. Um, they don't know what a board is, so it kind of overwhelms them from the very start. So this video really is about explaining basic terminology so that you don't feel overwhelmed, that you actually know what to, to do, uh, and that when you are involved in a conversation, uh, you're not lost right from the start. So let's really talk about what a pin is. So a pin is actually any picture or any visual that you see on Pinterest. So if I go to my Pinterest news feed, so when you've signed up, you just go click on this middle version uh, Pinterest button here and this is actually the desktop version which is something I highly suggest all business owners use to start because there are so many features it's so good so here we have a specific pin that's from Nordstrom uh, it's lovely shoes to slip on the billy for the uh, for a casual bike ride and so this is a pin all these are pins that's all it is so when you use Pinterest and you double click on a pin in the Pinterest feed it enlarges so you can kind of see that you get a better grasp of what this is you can kind of see what's there uh, and every pin is accompanied by a website resource again it doesn't necessarily mean it has to come from a website if it is uploaded by a user it'll say uploaded by a user you can see who the what the person that pinned it was um, and again the description they have so every pin is usually accompanied by a description it's accompanied by the picture so that's a pin now the thing that you want to do also is when you're starting off is you want to create some categories, right? Like you don't just want to have one category uh, and those categories are known as boards. So if you go click on the very top right corner of your username uh, and you go click profile. Now you see over here that I've got some extremely interesting boards about Pinterest. Oh, look at this Pinterest tips, MCNG marketing blog post. Uh, Pinterest for lead generation and social media marketing, all boards that are related to what I do. Again, so when you're creating a board, all you have to do is go on the very left hand side and just go right over here to create a board. Click on that fancy schmancy plus sign and what happens is that you get an option to name your board. I wouldn't even say it's an option, you have to name your board or you can't create one. Um, but make sure you name your board something that people are looking for. Uh, again, you want to add a description. Hey, people come onto your account, they see the board, they want to know what it's about. Don't leave it blank. If it's about flowers, make sure you write about flowers. Uh, again, choose the category. Uh, this is really important. Try to find the category that best fits you. If you happen to be a marketer, you're probably going to feel the same pains that I have, which is like, I can't seem to find the category that it fits in. Just do your best. Um, sometimes they don't have a really good category, unfortunately for us. Um, and again, add a map, and this is something we'll talk about a little bit more, but you can always add a map, uh, which is known as place pins. So again, if you have a travel board, or if it's something that's related to hospitality, or something that you just want to, you know, maybe it's your favorite places to, to go eat, you might want to start that. And again, you have the option of keeping it secret. A secret board means that it's something that you hide away from the public. Something that's so secretive, you don't want anybody else to know, except you and Pinterest. Um, so this, uh, that's uh, something you can do as well and that's how you create a board. Now the other option, uh, sorry, the other thing that you can do is a form of level of engagement is the repin. So I'm gonna go back to my Pinterest feed and I followed a bunch of people and, and that's something I'm gonna talk about a little bit more. Uh, I'm just gonna repin uh, like this, here we go. So this is uh, Denise Tonin, uh, really wonderful person. Um, you know, she she's a great, if you're in Brazil, and you're looking for a Pinterest expert, please take a look at Denise's website. Uh, she'll, you'll have some fantastic stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go pin it, and I'm gonna go choose the board. So here's Pinterest tips. Uh, I'm just gonna click on that. Uh, I'm not gonna change the description, um, but I can if I want to. And then I go pin it, and it says added to Pinterest tips. And now I've officially repinned re something, and that's a repin. And so again, that's kind of the basics of how to use Pinterest. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to visit my website. It's www.mcngmarketing.com. If you want a more detailed, very advanced level, uh, you know, like ninja stuff about Pinterest, then you can always check out my book, uh, Pinterest to Profits with Mentalysis on my website. 
Love to hear any, anything you have to say. So thank you so much and keep on pinning.